Alright guys, so this is a video of me showing off um, my Hackintosh. So basically, I was able to get um, get a Hackintosh um, completely working, and I have a quad-core 8-thread uh, i7. It's an older one, it's like a 2012, um, it's a 3770, uh, so third generation, and um, got graphics working and everything. So, I did this. It was a lot of work, actually. It took me probably, like, I don't know, eight hours, somewhere around there. So, a work day to get it functioning right. And, um, you know, don't tell anyone, but I kind of gave up and just copied someone's GitHub uh, config for this exact, this exact setup. So, yeah, don't tell anyone that. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, it's uh, completely working. Um... There's not really many issues. Um, I'm not sure about updating. I still don't understand how that interacts and everything. And my audio is broken for my inputs. So I'll have to figure that out. But um, I don't really care to. And the reason is is because uh, it's, it, it's, it's a Mac. <laughs> That's about it. I'm not really, not really too terribly interested in using it. I definitely gave it a chance. I mean, I've used this for quite a bit, but um, everything about it is just like, you know, just kind of janky. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing like that I'm really excited for, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway, so there's not like, there's not much, there's not many features that I would like to use. There are some pieces of software, but like, doing programming in it, anything like that, it's just kind of more of a hassle, because I can do it in Linux um, with some difficulties. I can do it with Windows without any difficulties, because Windows is, despite my love of Linux, it's very good for a lot of things. But um, yeah, so um, don't judge me for having Microsoft Edge. Um, although I discovered this new search engine, it's called Bing. <laughs> it's really good. But uh, so, um, if you were to buy the Optiplex 7010i73770, um, which I got for $138, you can have the same setup if you want a Hackintosh. You know, what's funny is I went to install Window Manager when I first got this, and I was just like, oh, I'm going to check the App Store, la di da, I'm a, I'm a fucking newbie, you know? And I opened the App Store, and I had to buy one for two dollars. That was like my only option, and I, I literally bust out laughing at that. But this is what frustrates me the most. Like, why no no window snapping? Everything everything has window snapping. Mate has window snapping. I knocked over a can in my anger. But um. Yeah, anyway, so you can get these for very cheap. I mean, um, I think the same open core setup that I have um, would work with this i3-6100H. I'm not sure about that, but I'm pretty sure. Um, just anything with, like, the same motherboard will generally work. And if not, it's, like, a pretty easy way to change it out. But, yeah, um, performance-wise, this thing's amazing. I mean, you can see the... Um, the astounding effects here. Oh, I can't click it there. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, look at that. Magic lamp. Magic lamp, baby. Um, but yeah, um, everything works. Uh, GarageBand, um, the App Store. I mean, you can even have iCloud working if you wanted to go through with it. Um, and yeah, it's nice. I mean, Siri's nice. The dictation's great. Um, that's one of the reasons I wanted to use it, because I use dictation mostly. And, um, yeah. Um, oh, did I break Siri? Oh, okay. I've, I've this installed to a standard hard drive, so it's a lot slower than it should be for doing things like that. Hey, Siri. Hi. So, yeah, um, basically everything's working. Uh, dictation works. It's pretty good. I don't really have much more to say. That's about it. Um, I'm trying to get it installed on a USB drive so I can, like, format this drive and actually use it because um, I don't want like I don't like their file system it is such a pain like there's their new file system just does not 
does not work well. In fact, I can't even get the uh, the the drivers to work on MX. I have to boot into Lubuntu to be able to use it. But like like resizing partitions and everything like that, it takes a long time. Like it's not it's not for the like even on flash drives, it's just not super fast. So um, I do a lot of that, of course, since I, you see me messing around with these operating systems all the time. Um, but yeah, <laughs> one thing that actually made me angry is more of a criticism of OSX, I guess, um, this whole video. But uh, one thing that made me really annoyed was just to install OBS, I had to give it like three or four permissions, and I had to restart OBS every single time because it was only popping up the permissions as I moved around the... Uh, the features in OBS, so that was um, that was fairly annoying. Also, my encoding is a lot slower than it should be, but I mean, this is a it's a hackintosh. It's not going to perform native or anything. But uh, yeah, so if you're interested in that, I can link you guys to the Open Core um, setup. By the way, um, it handles multiple desktops really well. I got, I'll give it that. Like that's pretty awesome. Terminal is kind of ugly. See if I can. Oh, what's that? There's some janky. There's some uh, janky stuff going on in general. I have something to allow me to tile easily. Um, I don't remember what it was called. Don't really care to find it. But um, yeah. So that's um how I built a Hackintosh for 130 bucks. This is actually my main rig now. Um, I was gonna buy a full computer, but then AMD's prices went up. So I bought this just for fun, and like it's better than my main rig even though it's so dirt cheap. Like, I don't know w how or why these things are sold for so cheap, but I guess that's why 4chan uh, absolutely loves them, these and ThinkPads, because they're just basically free refurbished. One other thing, I did have to... I got the crappy motherboard, and so I actually had to flash um, some sketchy... Well, no, I mean, it wasn't sketchy... But um, there's a feature that's disabled in my BIOS, so I actually had to flash my uh, my ROM, my BIOS ROM, for uh, to get things activated, and that was kind of I didn't enjoy that because like if that messes up, I mean I have to buy a new motherboard at the very least. So, but it worked out well. I had to boot into Open DOS to make the adjustments. So, anyway, that's about it. Um, yeah, this is the. Uh, Cheap as hell Hackintosh. I really recommend it though if you want to use OS X. Um, it's, it's great. You know, just not really a fan. I'm kind of juggling two operating systems a bunch, so don't really want a third one that's kind of a hybrid of both. So, um, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some out of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Oh my God, I need your likes and.